Get your eyes burned, boy. All right, so, dang. Why do you have to walk away like that, you big oversized Chuck E. Cheese looking mother... <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. One time, yeah, I was sitting at a theater, yeah, and they oversaw my popcorn. Mm, Chuck E. Cheese tried to run at me, mm, and that made my parents so dang happy. It was crappy, I don't even know it's sappy. Uh, hit it with the beats, and you know I eat at Chick fil A. I don't even know, but I stopped the rhyme, no. Chick fil A, bro. Eating Chick Fil A, yo. <laughs> hey, you know what it is? It's your boy Action, and today I am bringing you guys Five Nights at Candy's Three. So yeah, guys, we're pretty much gonna jump into Five Nights at Candy's Three. I did not play two or one, but you know, like this is what this is what's on the block right now. You know, you gotta you gotta roll with the trends. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's hop straight into this bad boy. How are you feeling today? It's been two weeks. Understand that it was a very traumatic experience. But luckily, your brother wasn't seriously hurt. You have to remember, they weren't real. They were just machines. They aren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just broken. But it's okay now. You're safe here. You remembered them from the theater? Ah, yes. The old one that you and your father went to a year ago, right? So is Candy's a theater, I'm guessing? So it's a theater. I went there a year ago. I'm guessing I'm the main character since they're talking to me and my father and me went there a year ago. Your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other that day when the incident happened. Have you still had nightmares since we last met? We, oh, what is that doing, bruh? <laughs> since we last met, were there about those monsters you drew for me? Dang, is that what she drew? Dang, they must've been some creepy images. You're a very creative girl. All right, so we're playing as a girl. But you can't let the fears take control of your imagination. In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fears. Says who? Dr. Seuss didn't say that. Bet he did. You have to face the monsters. Show them you're not afraid. Do you understand? It's the only way. Now, Mary. My name's Mary, okay. I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. Oh, wow, so okay. Putting it together, oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh snap, it's like a little 8-bit game. Like, okay, I see you. What's this cat doing? How do we interact with things? Do we click? Do we press enter or something? No? Right, I'm just gonna walk up here. Whoa, hey, what up? Aren't you even gonna say hello? I mean, I try, I walked up to you. You a cat, how am I supposed to say? Hi, cat. All right, I'm, I'm coming back. What's up, what's up, my nigga? What's good, what's good? Hello, it's me, Adele, is that you? I'm the original cat. How am I here? You're dreaming right now, sort of, at least. This room you're in is your old room from before you moved. But right now, it looks like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I'm here. I have a couple of tricks to fighting the monsters. Remember a few years ago, you had trouble sleeping almost every night. So your dad gave you a cassette tape player with a tape with quiet music that he made for you so you could sleep. I bet it would also help you while sleeping better now. The other thing is the monster hate, the monsters hate light. So I just, so I suggest, so I suggest flashing light in the eyes whenever you can. So monsters hate the light, unless they're under your bed. Listen for if they go there. In such case, peek under the bed to see which side they're at. Then go back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back to them will lure them out from under the bed. Listen closely for the sound of them peeking out and then Face your back towards the opposite end of the room again to give them a good dose of light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here if you need my help. All right, so is it like gonna be in this room? No, I'm just gonna go back to where I was going. 
all right so okay so this is kind of cool so okay they give me a little bit of directions and i have seen the demo so i do know a little bit how to play so this is this is the dreamscape this is where your deepest memories are i'm talking to you from the dreamscape see those glowing particle thingies yes i do <laughs> looking like some looking like some snowflakes they make up a path the tape players should be somewhere ahead just remember to stay on the path so that the shadows can't get you. If you get lost, I can get you back only if you're on the path. I can't reach you if you're out in the darkness. Let me know if you need to get back by pressing R. Okay, so R is like a restart. It gets you back to the beginning. What's this? Beware of the shadows. Stay on the path. All right, big rock, I'll stay on the path. Dang, she booking it, dang, she cooking it, uh. The path does not necessarily lead to every destination. Oh, what's this? Part of a newspaper article. Read it, might as well. After closing so soon, the brand new wire anim animatronics were sent back to bleep rumors and circuit, oh my God. Circulating that the animatronics will be used as a base for newer designs of advanced fully mobile uh, animatronics, which are especially speculated to be used for a future project. Do not be afraid of stepping slightly off the path. Step too far away from the path, however, and that is when you should be afraid. Oh, 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 I'm a rebel, bro. All right, right or left? See, look, if I go right, I'm right. But if I go left, that's why I left my cassette tape player. You know what I'm saying? So let's go left. All right, it has to be here, man. I mean, I just made it up, bro. Nope, article, part of a newspaper article. Read it, might as well. Oh, dude, it's the same article, bro. Dang, she fast for a little girl. Dang, Mary. Oh, dude, is this it? You found the tape player, let's go. And what's this? You found the arcade game number one. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to the room. Go back to the dreamscape, yes. All right, now that I find a cat, what you want? Great, you found it. Do you remember how to use the tape player? I, I think I know how it's used. I, I saw, I, again, I played the demo. You're supposed to stop it and rewind and all that. So good luck. Go to sleep, yes sir. The first night, oh dude, I'm not ready. I am so not ready for this. I haven't played a horror game since years. Oh, dude. Remember to use the tape player. Time goes twice as fast. Oh, gosh, dude. All right, man. So I'm looking out for the creepy crawlers in the dark. <laughs> you already know, bro. What you gonna do? Big fat rat looking like a Cadillac. I don't even know, but your back is cracked. Mm. Oh, shoot. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. What is that? What is that? Oh, bro. What you doing in my closet, bro? You better get out of my closet. You already know. He's trying to sneak in there and look at all my newspaper articles. All right, so how do I, how am I aware of the time? Oh, Lord. No, bro. My freaking, uh, my action program that I'm recording with is covering my time. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Where's he at? Oh, I, oh. All right, dude. I need to chill and listen a little bit. This tape player is kind of relaxing, though. Like, oh, shoot. It's, it's dead. After the next time. After the next time, I'll flip and get it. All right, let's see. Where you at, bro? Ooh, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Where you at? Where you at? Ooh, I found you. Okay, let's let's flip it. Let's flip it. All right, so it stopped. Is that is that rewind? Oh, dude, I swear. If I press fast forward or something. Did I press fast forward? I swear, bro. How can I fast forward if the tape's over, though? I heard that. I heard that. Ooh, bro. These sounds. I. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. It's rewind. It's rewind. Go. Yes, okay, that was Rewind. All right, good. So far, so good, man. I mean, this is the first night, so it's supposed to be pretty chill. Just using your sounds pretty good, and that sounds like you're at the door, and you are. Okay, sweet. So I think I, I think I can difference it when it's do do do. He's at the door, like he knocking on the door, like he wanna, like he he running, like he's like running down the street talking about some do do do. But uh, so far, uh, we're just we're just hearing him out pretty well. Oh, there he goes again. There he goes at the door. No, he's not at the door. Where's he at? The closet. All right, that douche, douche, douche was a little different. So yeah, we can infer by the douche, douche, douche. Dang, I wish I could see what time it was, bro. Freaking, my recorder has to be covering it. Yo, what's this? Is that a Markiplier? I, oh, trying to open my door. He didn't even make sound that time. All right, but let's flip back and let's rewind. Let's rewind. All right. Oh, dude, I am so not ready for a jump scare, bro. But we're doing good. We're doing really good, actually. So nothing should scare me. I mean... 
Oh, shoot. There he goes again. Oh, God. He's... No! What the heck, bro? What's good, my boy? What's good? Oh, my gosh, dude. This rat is ugly as heck, bro. Look at his teeth, bro. Looking like sandy sandy cheeks with your square teeth. SpongeBob looking teeth with your big... Okay, something crawled under the bed. What's good? Okay, so he's under the bed. So I'm supposed to look at the opposite side. All right, so he's there. He's on the left, so I look to the... Shoot, is this the right way? Let me listen for it. Come on! Why don't I close my door? Why don't you just lock your door, put a barrier around this, and then uh, your closet, like, <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do about that. Like some duct tape? Maybe some duct tape. D can I tell y'all a story? Man, last evening, I was at Walmart, and this fat dude looked at me and said, boy, why you fat? And I said, boy, who you calling? Oh, shoot. What's good? Oh, wait a second, that actually didn't happen. All right, look, look, look. So Mary, this is what happened to Mary. I'm gonna give y'all a sum up. So this little girl, Mary, right here, she has a problem because, like, she went to the movie theater and they, they put too much salt in her popcorn. And she's like, how are you going to over-salt the popcorn, bruh? That don't even make no sense, fam. And that's that's why she was upset. Like, <laughs> we had to go back a year ago to remember how that soggy, too much salt popcorn tasted like. That's that's exactly how. Just wanted to let y'all know that. Ooh, he's somewhere. He's somewhere. Oh, shit, I'm done. He's in my face. He's in my face. Ah, there you are, boy. There you are, my boy. What you gonna do? Why is he shaking like that, bro? You got problems? Like, you got problems? Do I put it on his nose or his eyes? I think it's the eyes. Okay. Dang, he moving on quick and stuff? Looking boy. All right, let's 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 check under the bed. All right, so he's not on the left. He's on the right. All right, so he's on the right, so I look to the left, all right? I'm guessing that's how it works. Oh, I heard him. I heard him. Yes, okay, that's how it works. And now get your eyes burned. Get your eyes burned, boy. All right, so, dang. Why do you have to walk away like that, you big oversized Chuck E. Cheese looking mother... <laughs> All right, let's let's play my music again. Dang, my mixtape was fire. Mm. It's my music. This my jam. You better be stepping out of that closet, you big oversized rat looking boy. Ah, oh, man. Isn't this so comfy? Man, think of this. Think of this. It's 12 o'clock, and then you got to stay up for six hours and you gotta you gotta wait until it's six o'clock to feel good with yourself you know how stupid that is man talking about some five nights man five nights that's like no sleep boy your eyes gotta be burning i see why this rat got a problem he's the one staying up for five nights that's why that's why if you flash a flashlight in his eyes like think of it when you wake up in the morning and that sun hits your eyes all extra hard how, how much did that hurt how much did that hurt that hurt, right? Yeah, that's right. So actually, technically, if you think about it, Mary's a bully. Mary's a bully. They're just trying to come in. The big rat's just trying to come in thinking the movie theaters is Chuck E. Cheese, trying to give him a refund on that salty popcorn that made him go to, like, freaking therapy or something. Dang. Shoot, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, what's good? What's good? Dang. Yeah, yeah, do your little... Look at Dang. Oh, ugly boy. All right, let me see. So, oh, that's the left side. So he's on the left. So we look to the right. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. What's good? In your eyes. How that sun tastes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. It's gone. He's gone. So I don't know if we're close to winning or not. What you doing in my closet, bro? Is that the cops? Oh, shoot. I got it, bro. The traumatic experience. My mixtape was on, and it burned down the whole theater. Oh, wow. She really thinks it's the monsters doing that, but it's actually just the mixtape juice being too fire. I am so sorry. I, I gotta apologize. Mary, find your dad. Is this your dad? Your dad ugly as hell. I'm just playing. Find your dad, and let me, let me apologize for the hot mixtape fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Where you at, bro? In the closet. How many times I tell you to get out of the closet? If you touch my Yeezys in there, boy, I swear. Ooh, I smacked the, smacked the face out your face. Dang. But seriously, think of staying up for 24 hours in a row, bro. I This is some bull, man. This this big oversized Chuck E. Cheese looking boy is really making Mary stay up for so late. And Isn't she young? Didn't she look young? She probably she probably has school tomorrow. Dang, she gonna come to school like, I'm here for the test. We oh, shoot. 
I'm over here making too many jokes. Like I was saying, I'm here for the tag. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Give it up. Give it up. Night one. Hey, let's go. Okay, what's this? What's this? Some static? Hey, you need to fix your TV. Hey. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, I like, oh, this cinematic music. Hey, hey. Mm, mm, mm. One time. Yeah, I was sitting at a theater. Yeah, and they over saw my popcorn. Mm, Chuck E. Cheese tried to run at me. Mm, and that made my parents so dang happy. It was crappy. I don't even know it's sappy. Uh, hit it with the beats, and you know I eat at Chick fil A. I don't even know, but I stopped the rhyme. No, Chick fil A, bro. Eating Chick fil A, yo. <laughs> no, but for real, like, where are we at right now? All right, there's parents. Can I talk to them? Can I talk to you? Can I talk? Y'all don't see me? Y'all don't see? What if I jump on this table? What if I jump on this table? Y'all see me? Oh, y'all don't care? Man, screw y'all. Some fake parents looking boy. All right, what's this? Staff area, employee zone. Where are we? Just a bunch of newspaper clippings. Just a bunch of newspaper clippings. All right, then what's this? It's a poster for the rat and cat theater. We're at the theater. All right, so we're at the theater. The rat and cat theater is what it's called. All right, so let's see what we're doing here. There goes another kid. Should I talk to him? Lies looking real super big. I haven't seen the puppeteers puppet yet. I heard that it's a big, it's a, it's as big as a person. I thought it said a big ass person. <laughs> I was like, what this kid out here doing cussing? All right, as big as a person. All right, okay, I don't care. Get out of my face. It's another parent avoiding me. Hate these parents. Why do you use the bathroom first? I don't have to go. Says who? That's the boys right- I don't care! Hey, who's this? Hi, sweetie. This is some suspect- I'm just playing. Are you having fun? I hope you're happy with the place- Oh, they're both green! Is this the dad? Hope you're happy with the place I picked out. It's just the two of us while your brother is at camp, so you can decide what we should have for dinner tonight. Alright, so that's pretty cool, but why doesn't she stay with it? If you went to a theater, would you let your little kid roam? I'm just- I'm just asking, man. I wouldn't do that. That's wrong. All right, so what am I doing? I'm just gonna walk around the whole place? All right, another kid. These arcade games are so boring. I once asked the rat if we could uh, get some new ones soon, but then he got a bit angry. Oh shoot, did he throw hands? The rat is a real jerk. Yeah, I know. D big old Chuck E. Cheese looking boy in my room last night. <laughs> Let me tell you, I got a story for you. No? Alright, no, no telling stories? Please don't hog the games. Share with everyone. Man, I'm gonna hog a game if I want. I'm talking about some don't hog the games. Oh, hex, no, I'm out of here, bro. You got me. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me see what this big old dude wants. Dang! Dang, why does why this chat gotta sound like that? <gasps> the sound in chat. Hey, a kid, I'm the rat. Nice to meet you. Say, the show's about to start in a few minutes. Wanna play hide and seek? What a grown ass man? No thanks. That's no fun. Oh well, come back if you change your mind. I ain't gonna play no hide and seek with you. I oughta roast you on them big toes. Three toes looking boy. All right, so let's see. This is obviously the theater area. I love this theater. My family has come here for months now. Do you like it too? I don't know. Okay, that's the beginning. So what do I gotta do? Do I really gotta play hide and seek with this grown? Week 41, 1961, show schedule. Monday, the mystical tree. Tuesday, the cat's birthday. Wednesday, the pet pick. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They don't even know what's Friday. A surprise. A surprise of death. O over salt and popcorn looking boy. All right, it's a poster for the rat and cat theater. All right, let's, let's play hide and seek with you. Do you wanna play hide and seek? I mean, do you want to play hide and seek? Yeah, yeah, I'll play. Nito, you go hide. Shoot. <laughs> Nito, you go hide. Nito, you go and hide. Then I'll stay here and count to 100. <laughs> Man, all right, yeah, you turn around. All right, where can I hide? Can I, can I hide up on the stage? I bet he would never. Can I leave? I can't just leave. Man, yes, I can. Who said I couldn't? All right, so where am I supposed to hide, bro? Are there any places I can hide? Um, hide under the table. That's too close. That's too close. Um, is there another table back here? Um, can I hide in this room? Oh, dude, I don't know how much time I have. Staff? No, oh, no, that's the staff area. Ooh, yes, 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 the closet, bro. Let's go. What is this? What is this? Oh. Ah, 
I found you. Man, if you don't get your big oversized, I'd have roast you for that, jumping out at me, trying to scare me. Ooh. All right, guys, give it up, give it up. Yeah. Man, don't turn the camera. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you see it right there. We done did it. We did the first night of Five Nights at Candy's 3. And yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, I can do like the next episode, maybe do nights 2 and 3 in the same night. But yeah, we're just getting it started. So yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this series, man. I'm, I feel like I'm going to have a ton of fun with it. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely had a lot of fun playing this. And yeah, so uh, more to come if you guys enjoy. So if you're new, definitely subscribe to be a part of the next Level United. If you made it this far, comment your favorite part of the video and with a timestamp next to it. Hope you have an outstanding day. Thanks for rocking with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Peace, bye bye and subscribe. Your boy out. I'm known for running, 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 running,